Hi everybody and welcome to the first review on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at what I believe is possibly the cheapest laptop you can buy brand new under certain circumstances. This is the Archibook, a, as it says on the box, 11.6 inch laptop. So this laptop is running Windows 10 in S mode, um, which is a key point to remember when looking at this. Now this laptop retails full price on eBay for £180, which isn't necessarily the cheapest laptop that you'll see, um, even brand new, but it is always included in any of eBay's offers. So I actually managed to get this laptop for £80, brand new, including shipping, which I think is a pretty amazing price for a laptop. So taking a look at the packaging that it comes with, what you get for 80 quid? Well, you actually get something quite premium. So you've got a nice box here. Um, you've obviously got the laptop Intel Windows 10, as I've said, um, it is in S mode. So it is an 11.6 inch laptop, so quite a small screen, um, pretty standard for the price range. Comes with a Celeron dual core. Uh, now, again, this is kind of quite a common um, configuration for these laptops. And it comes with four gigabytes of RAM, which is a fair amount for this price. Um, for the use case, it's gonna be enough. And it also comes with 64 gigs of eMMC, which is, I thought, actually quite good. Um, a lot of these kind of laptops that you see come with 32 gigabyte storage, which can get quite full quite quickly, especially once Windows updates. Um, but 64 gig gives you that headroom. Something to note, as it comes in S mode, I think it's quite a common thing, you get a year of Office 365 subscription, um, which, you know, depending on what you're using this for, if you're, say, a student or something, that could be really, really helpful. Onto the back. First indication that you did hear some noise. Onto the back, again, the Office name. So it's a 1080p display, um, which is quite good for the size. It's also actually quite a good display, which we'll look at in a bit. Uh, the dual core, as mentioned, does come with a webcam. It's 0.3 megapixels, so it's not gonna change the world. But if you're, especially nowadays, on Zoom calls, um, remote learning, remote working, anything like that, it's passable for short, quick meetings, quick talks, anything like that. Four gigs of RAM, storage again, 4,450. 50 milliamp hour battery. Um, they quote this as having 14 hours of battery life. I definitely can't agree with that, um, but for the price, it is a relatively good battery. Um, it's totally usable for, for longer periods. You know, you could definitely go a good few hours on it before it needs a charge. And then here you've got the list of all the connections, which we'll, we'll go over once we get it out of the box. So first impressions, we've got really solid packaging, really nice looking. So we'll see how it is when we open it up. Just a simple hinge style. Open it up, first thing we see is the laptop. Now, there's no foam in here, nothing really protective other than this little bag to keep it from scratching. It's on some quite small cardboard inserts to keep it in place. Now, although they've seemed to have put a lot of money into the design of the packaging, the actual practicality of it, I would say is lacking. Um, it does come obviously shipped in a larger box, but this could quite easily get damaged uh, in shipping. So that's, that's one thing to bear in mind if you are looking at this. But again, price wise, 80 pounds I'm saying, you can't complain, you've got a colourful box and it's not sitting in loose, it is at least suspended. So let's take the laptop out before we look at that. Look at what else comes in the box. So this is the cardboard insert, take that out. So these come loose again. You've got your figure eight power connector, a plug and a barrel charger. Now, this is the first, um, and I would say we're pretty much only really cheap feeling part of the device. Um, it does feel cheap and it, it almost feels old. Um, it's not something you kind of see for laptops, but it gets the job done. 
it's only a low power laptop you, you don't need much more you also get a quick start guide um, with all your kind of basic information on there um, but we're not too worried about that I mean it looks like a fair guide with some fair information if this is like my first laptop sort of thing you, you, you could do worse than looking at this it's got some some good information about what's with it what's on it etc so let's get this out of the way uh, and have a look at the laptop itself so here's the laptop uh, in the bag still um, a fairly smooth protective bag if we take the laptop out we get to see the first look at the device and I'm not sure if it shows it perfectly on the camera but you do get this nice rubberized texture um, does leave some marks when you touch it but they they go looks relatively premium I would say for a device of its price um, better than kind of like a smooth plastic would probably look at this price range um, I think it's a nice design choice definitely makes it look different um, I think surprisingly if it was on shop shelves I think this would actually be a good kind of selling point this would make it feel a lot better than it is but unfortunately when it's you know eBay only you look at pictures you don't quite get the same idea from it um, but yeah once it's out of the box it's actually quite nice flipping it over you've got four feet obviously to keep it from from touching the desk um, quite accessible here you've only got a few screws to get inside it as you can see I've not actually gone inside um, I did ask them about internals uh, regarding expansion of memory etc it is soldered to the motherboard as you would expect with something of this price so there's no real need to go under there and look at anything um, really it is fanless heat sink as well so you're not going to be needing to replace the fan the only reason I can imagine you want to get in here one day probably change the thermal paste but we don't need to do that it's a brand new laptop and I, I don't think it's going to be the most exciting uh, internals so I've left that there this is interesting though two screws and you've got an M.2 expansion slot now I have contacted them the BIOS says NVMe I contacted them they said it supports SATA so I've not been able to test it I would assume they are correct it is probably a SATA expansion slot um, you can get a 2280 so pretty much full length uh, standard length uh, size in there has got a hole halfway as well for the half length really good idea there um, for expandable storage unfortunately it's not as cheap um, as say laptop drives in terms of what you're going to get but it is obviously quite quick memory and you know it is becoming more and more the standard so really good to see that included in there for expansion so let's have a look at the uh, IO of the device um, and we're going to start with also relates to expansion so look in here we've actually got a micro SD card slot so this is expandable up to 128 gig um, obviously to give this even more storage um, I think this is a really good inclusion for what you're going to probably be using this for documents um, web browsing media consumption that micro SD is going to be more than fast enough really um, than the M.2 so a really good kind of budget way to expand your storage um, so quite happy with that inclusion audio jack uh, headphone earphone audio jack really good and um, to see that you've got that kind of connectivity it does have Bluetooth built in so if you've got Bluetooth headphones which a lot of people now do you can use them but it's good to see that's still included um, so that you can still connect those devices and then here you've got a USB 3 um, obviously a connection to have on the other side we're going to be looking at again another USB 3 so you've got two of those um, which is nice to have uh, for slots you've got the barrel charger you've got a mini HDMI a bit of an odd inclusion I do understand it you couldn't probably fit a full HDMI on here with all the other ports so you know and they wanted a display output I assume so it's the only one to include obviously not a greatly um, used output you're going to need to get some sort of adapter there to full HDMI which I don't believe are the cheapest I think they're a lot cheaper now than they used to be but you're not really going to be using that but it's it's a nice to have in case you ever need it and then here my favorite part of the IO is actually a USB type C port which I think for the price of the laptop is is brilliant a USB type C obviously a very versatile port 
Um, you could connect a hub to that with your ethernet, other USB ports, SD ports, anything you want. So really, really good to see that included at this price range. Um, and obviously it is kind of becoming more and more of a standard. So good to see they're kind of mixing older ports like standard USB 3 and then USB type C. So good IO. So let's have a look at the actual laptop and see what it looks like. So opening the laptop up, you've got a firm but not stiff feel. It's definitely a two hand uh, job there to open that, but quite a nice hinge you get. You've got a nice protector there for the keyboard. You get a screen protector, which as you can see, I've reapplied for the sake of this video, but does normally look quite nice. So we'll, we'll just peel that off. Very nice. So here you can see the 11.6 inch screen. No massive bezels, you know, they're, they're still there. They're still visible, but totally fine. The chin, a little bit thick, but again, for this kind of price, you're not expecting edge to edge display, but it's not a super thick uh, bezel that's gonna distract you keyboard is obviously a slightly smaller form factor um, I think they've done quite well with the placement of keys the only one that gets me is the delete as you can see a bit of an odd placement but they've got to make room where they can and the on button is actually uh, in the keyboard which I've seen before on these sorts of things and makes sense in terms of space trackpad as you can see it's actually quite a large trackpad um, more than usable, serviceable completely. Um, I have had some issues with it. When the device first started, um, it worked. Did some Windows updates to get this up to date. It became very laggy, unresponsive, was clicking where I didn't want it to. Come back up to date. After a couple of, after restarting with the updates, it's totally fine. I have had one instance where I've turned the laptop on and the mouse just hasn't appeared. I restarted it still not appeared. I've had to actually connect a USB mouse um, to get it to come back. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Um, it is not the most, uh, not perfect mouse, but totally serviceable for this, especially if, if you're going to use a, a separate mouse or if you've got access to one, just in case that failure does happen for you as well. In terms of actual usability, the keyboard is actually totally fine. I've felt worse keyboards. Um, it works, it's typable, the keys aren't too small, not too big, um, there's a small gap between them. I know some people don't like, some people do like uh, uh, gaps, but for me, uh, I've tried doing a bit of typing on it and it worked It worked fairly well. So let's get it booted up um, and see how, how the performance is. I am going to just let it run. Um, I am going to let you guys see how long it takes to boot, just so that you've got an idea of kind of real world. Uh, when I turned it off, it did have Task Manager open, so it should hopefully boot that back up with it. So that will impact obviously the the load time of, of everything. But I wanted that for for what you'll see uh, as a reason as to the CPU usage on boot um, and how it takes how long it takes to catch up. So. Let's just leave this to run. There we go. So as you can see, it took a moment there for Task Manager to open, but I would actually say it's, it's pretty fast boot times nothing crazy long, nothing like a hard drive really. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite nice. Um, so here you can see the CPU started quite low, has now popped up to 100%. This is relatively common with this laptop um, due to that dual core 1.1 uh, gigahertz CPU on boot up, any kind of background apps, any automatic start in things like Microsoft Store, which looks for updates, etc. when you boot. Um, does take it but as you see it then quickly drops back down and is completely fine so let's go through task manager have a look at the exact specs of it and just see how it looks so let's get this full screen let's go to the performance 
So here we can see it is a Celeron N3350 clocked at 1.1 gigahertz. Now it does regularly boost to around 2.3, which is fine. Um, it does do that when you've got probably more than one or two things open or sometimes even open in certain things, but that's fine. It's, it's usable um, for the use case of this laptop. The memory, uh, we've got four gigabytes of 2133 megahertz DDR4. So again, totally serviceable memory what you need with a Windows 10 in S um, in terms of running the apps that are on here. The eMMC, as we've discussed, 64 gigabytes, so quite a good amount for the price. Not going to be filled up too quickly with Windows updates, so you can actually store certain items on here. Wi-Fi it is a Realtek RTL8723B adapter. Now, this isn't obviously going to be the fastest connection. Um, we have 300 megabytes uh, in the house, and this gets roughly 50 um, in terms of download speed. So if you've got ultra fast internet and you wanted to take advantage of it, this isn't going to do it. But for the things you're going to be doing on this laptop, it's, it's more than fast enough. And then obviously Intel integrated graphics, nothing to write home about, um, but they get the job done. So let's talk about the actual performance of the device. So in terms of if you're going to be using this device for Office, it's going to be totally fine. Um, I can boot up Word, um, even like Excel, and it's, it's usable. So if this is, say, a student machine, it's going to be brilliant. It, it's going to be enough for what you need, taking notes or typing out a small essay for multitasking jumping between say websites and word there can be uh, sluggishness but again it's acceptable to the point of i don't think it will have a detrimental effect on your working um, if you're looking to have the snappiest experience obviously you're not going to get that for 80 pounds but if you're just looking for something that will do the job this is more than enough for a workplace i would probably not recommend it that sluggishness is probably ever so slightly so much that you would feel like you're impeding your workflow. So it's, it's probably not something you want to go for. Um, as a home PC, you know, again, if you're using it for the same reasons as a student, some small word or web browsing, it's going to be more than enough. Anything more than that, we know it's, it's not designed for. Um, in terms of performance for anything other than office um, media consumption it's actually quite good so 1080p video is played back fine anything above that does lose frames so you're not going to want to put anything on at 1440 or 4k and to downscale obviously that's expected but 1080p runs pretty well the colors um, on the screen are quite good um, as you can already kind of see from the start screen it does look good so when you're actually running a YouTube video, a Netflix video, Amazon Prime, anything you wanna you wanna watch um, is good. So you can't do is, is really have that on and be doing anything else. It does impact the video. Um, but if it's all you're doing is putting a quick video on, it, it runs fine. So let me get one up for you and, and show you a quick demonstration. So here we've got a 1080p video, so if we click play, and there we are, it's running fine, running smooth. Um, it is supposed to be a 60 hertz display, which is quite nice. Uh, as you can see, colors are actually quite nice. They're not the best colors in the world. It's not gonna be for video or, or photo editing up to a really high standard. But in terms of just media consumption, say you wanna watch Netflix, you wanna watch some stuff on YouTube, you're not gonna be put off by the quality of the video. Now what you do get, which you didn't see there really, is some slight stutter um, when you first start a video. The kind of buffer as it loads in um, can be quite dramatic. You lose quite a few frames for the first kind of two or three seconds, but once it gets going, it's totally serviceable. 
Everybody, a bit of an add-on point here for after the video. Um, I didn't mention the speakers, so let's just watch this video. Um, it is actually an unboxing of this device by someone else. So let's just hear how the speakers are. This is full volume. Oh, sorry, this is minimum volume. Laptop, it is an exclusive to eBay. 50%. It comes with 12 months of Microsoft 365 Personal, and it's a great entry into Windows 10 computing. So let's take a look, shall we? First things first, we have this box. It's actually 100. really nice. I'm really used to seeing laptops arrive in your usual brown cardboard boxes, and this is frankly quite refreshing. To so there you are. It's totally serviceable for voice, etc. Um, music, it is going to be lacking a lot of the depth. Um, films, again, you've got no bass, but it's totally serviceable for some light media consumption, especially YouTube sort of things um, where it's a lot of talking you're going to be totally fine with it. Here we have the webcam. Um, as you can see, it is quite pixelated. Obviously, I'm filming this on my phone and it's very hard to make out any detail. For a web conference, if you've got quite a few people in there, it's going to be fine. For anything serious, one-to-one, -one, anything like that, it's going to be very blurry. I wouldn't recommend it if you're going to be using it just for that, but it's nice to have included, especially at the moment, with everything going on um, there's a lot more webcam and, and video conferencing etc going on so it's it's nice that it's included um, you can't complain really that it's there better to have something than nothing I would say so on to the gaming experience of this um, I did actually download a couple of games from the Microsoft Store so I've got World of Tank Blitz and uh, Forza Street so Forza Street um, we played was quite a stuttery experience even on the lowest graphic settings um, so it wasn't really an enjoyable experience World of Tanks Blitz um, I think again on the lowest settings it ran um, between 30 and 60 FPS so you can play some games on here you know it's not going to be your primary gaming device your phone if you've got a smartphone is going to run them better um, but if you've got some time to kill you don't want to use your phone or you don't have a smartphone it's going to be usable in some cases depending on the game so there we have it that is the Archibook a 80 pound or 180 pound depending on how much you're paying for it laptop um, is it worth 80 pounds a hundred percent I think for the price that I paid for it I think it's actually a really good machine um, I think for a student for a home laptop that only needs to do some very basic computing it is more than enough um, for someone that can't stretch to buy a laptop of much more money that obviously just needs it for that kind of basic computing needs I wouldn't say there's much need to go higher um, it's not going to be the snappiest experience in your life but for the price totally fine for the full price of £180 I think it's a harder sell um, I think looking on sites um, such as Courage you can obviously get branded items for very near that money which run Windows 10 in S with similar specs but as long as you're kind of getting that better value out of it if you're paying less than that full price I think it's it's brilliant and as I said it is pretty much always included in the eBay sales whatever they're called where there's X percent off and codes to get more percent off it's definitely worth it at that point so yeah that is the what I think cheapest laptop you can buy brand new um, and yeah I think it's actually a fair laptop I think you can do much worse with laptops it's got a good screen it's got totally usable uh, keyboard and mouse as long as your mouse doesn't break like it did for me that one time but obviously if that doesn't happen perfect if you've got a USB mouse it, it fixed it straight away you've got expandable storage you've got good IO I think it's a very difficult laptop not to like especially if you're paying um, very little for it as I did um, full price again as I've mentioned and I'm going to keep saying harder sell cheaper it is that you're going to get it the more happy you are going to be with it uh, the last thing to touch on that I, I didn't touch on is portability of it obviously it's very small it's going to fit in your backpack if you're a student or out and about a lot it's going to be fine and it weighs according to them one kilo so 
you can you can do whatever you want with it it's going to go anywhere you're not going to notice you've got it with you so there you have it guys uh, I would say a, a pretty glowing review of this laptop um, very happy with it if you've got any questions about anything specific drop them in the comments I'll try and answer them um, if you enjoyed the video give it a like um, if you want to see any more reviews, tech reviews, or anything related to tech, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing some more um, reviews and items on the channel shortly. But yeah, hopefully you've all enjoyed this. It's given people some insight as to whether they should purchase this machine. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good time.